Selection is the most difficult and important part of Photoshop. What if I told you that we can create selection of one or more objects in the image in less than 30 seconds? Isn't that cool? Yes. Today we will learn object finder feature of object selection tool in Photoshop CC 2022. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Okay, so for this feature, you need to use or install latest version of Photoshop, which is Photoshop CC 2022. Once you install it, or if you have that version, you will see in the left hand side, you'll see the toolbar. In toolbar, you could press W or you can move your mouse to this tool and choose this object selection tool. Now here, you will notice that uh, there are some different tools in the top bar what we are need to learn is object object finder so we'll click on this object finder to enable this feature what it will do is it will analyze your image once it analyze the image it will automatically it will automatically subject the most prominent objects in an image those can be one object two or more than two depending upon the clarity of that object so for this example we have this portrait image we just need to select our tool as well click on this object finder just move your mouse here you will see there is a blue uh, you know box appeared on this image just click on that and wait for the photoshop to select the auto selection and you can see it has selected very quickly see the selection is very fast I know that this is not so much accurate but it is much faster than a traditional way so how can you improve that you can simply just use this uh, lasso tool polygon tool whatever you would like to have this tool just click on shift plus and you can improve the selection if it is not selected properly once this selected mask it out now we have the selection you can remove the hairs by using different select and mask tool it's a different thing so we are not going to do that for today we will just learn um, object finder tool so what are the feature of this tool let's just control press D to deselect the selection you will see this is the object selection tool this one is the refresher if you click on this it will manually refresh the image to analyze the objects okay so this one is called a uh, toggle mode like if you click on this it will not first once it analyze the image it will show you how many objects in this image so uh, this one you can change different kind of settings like if you hover over this it can show you blue it can change to different colors or how much opacity of this color will be visible on this image it will depends on uh, its outline and opacity you can play with these settings and uh, set as you like so let's move to the next example this one just this image is just one example with you know this is just simple background let's just move to a little different that's the colorful image now same thing you have the object finder already selected click on this refresh button you will see it is it has started analyzing the image to check how many objects in this image and uh, once it has done its process it will simply finish the work and you will see this object I know you think that uh, it's not a good selection but once you go down it will create selection you just need to click on this image and it will automatically select the selection see the image is selected now let's move to the next example now uh, that was colorful object the background was still in a single color what if we have a colorful object and a colorful background see it's that easy now there are three objects this girl this purse and this flower you can choose different uh, like uh, objects in that it will automatically analyze and you can select them all in once see so how can you do that just click on this toggle button and you will see 
this whole image is selected you can uh, filter out these hairs and it, it can improve the selection let's move to the next example we have more objects see but if this is selected already click on this you don't need to click on this just see this is the first object second object and third object you can see them together by clicking on toggle button and these three objects are already selected okay let's move to the next example this one see the image is very colorful but we can create selection very easily i'm not clicking on this because it will create selection and we know that once we click that it will automatically create the selection so we don't need to uh, do that let's move to the next example now the thing we have discussed in very start object finder tool can detect more than one objects in an image depending upon that uh, image quality see click on toggle see one two three four five six objects now let's just turn this off this one is first second third fourth fifth and sixth now you see that the sixth object is not that much accurately selected because it is blurred out and it is not that much prominent as this one this one or this one or we can say this one this one is also not that much accurate uh, because this is also blurred out so this uh, tool can work more accurately on the prominent objects of an image in future we will learn how we can mask out how we can improve the selection using initial selection with the object finder tool and then we will improve the selection by our own methods i hope you like this video if you found this video helpful make sure to give this video a thumbs up we will meet in our next video don't forget to share and subscribe and always remember never stop keep learning